Hey everybody! So this is the new Barton Musical Circuit Step Rhythm Module. So this is a step sequencer that outputs uh, triggers and you program it by turning these, uh, pressing these buttons to turn the steps on and off. And it's pretty easy to tell, you know, the LEDs are saying what's on and off. And we have this blinking little LED that's a little less bright that's uh, showing you what step it's on. Uh, it has a clock output with an internal clock that's controlled by the speed control. And uh, it goes up to 32 steps. Right now it's set to 8. And you choose which, uh, which 8 steps you're looking at with this page button. Right now it's set to 8 so it doesn't do anything, but I'll set it up to 16. And so you see uh, on the last 8 beats we have beat 4 is not on. Uh, and then it goes up to 32, and so this control works differently depending on the setting. Uh, and then finally we have the bank control here, which sets uh, which bank uh, you save or load to, and there are four uh, save or load banks. And then this toggle is selecting which of the two outputs you're editing with uh, the buttons, because uh, that's two trigger outputs. And then finally there's an erase control, which uh, erases the current pattern and just clears everything. And then a reset. So I'm going to turn the sound up and you can kind of hear what these uh, things are doing. And thanks for watching. Uh, and we're using the digital hi-hat, the FM drum, and the analog decaying noise for our uh, sources, our sound sources here. I'm going to set the length to 2, which is the lowest, then 4, and 8, then 16. So you see the moving LED is gone when we're on, when we're looking at page 8 and it's on beats uh, 9 through 16, and then 32. Let's erase, and I saved it earlier. Oh, and as you can see, the length changed. It saves your length whenever you save, and so it automatically goes to that length whenever you hit the load button, but then you can override it by moving the length control. Um, yeah. So, yeah, that's the module. Uh, it's pretty easy to see. And then we also have an external clock input and an external reset input. And when you're using the external clock, the speed control uh, will work as a divider instead of as a control. <laughs> Sorry, the control will divide the external clock, is what I'm trying to say. Um, So yeah, that's about it. Uh, thanks for watching. This is a, a DIY project that you can build. It's a single PCB that has uh, all of these components, everything but the jacks, and uh, that's so that people using quarter inch or uh, one eighth inch jacks can use the same PCB uh, while still minimizing the wiring you'd have to do. And it's designed to use these panel mounted uh, buttons, which I like a lot. And it's designed around parts you can get from Tata, who are a very cheap part supplier. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching.